Hello everyone, welcome to Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. I'm gonna show you all the collectibles and I'm gonna do it on Eva's hammer here first in this video. Now I'm doing this after I've completed the main game because a lot of areas of this is not open until you progress far enough into the game. So we're gonna go star card number five. Leave your room, turn left and then right. And then the first room here, Bombate is the name of the room. Go in here and you get star card number five. You'll notice the numbering is a little weird. That's how they appear in your collectibles tracker if you go to that menu. Now we're gonna leave and go over here to the left and we're gonna have to actually jump onto this railing and then to the next location just straight ahead. So we're gonna go ahead, make a sprint jump, jump over that railing and there's concept art number five. Now from here, star card number two. There are a lot of collectibles in this relatively medium sized hub world. So we're just gonna go from point to point here to try to make it easier for you. So that's star card number two. Now we're gonna go from here down the hall, turn right into Set's lab. There's a couple collectibles in here. Now we're gonna do a little backtracking uh, in here, but uh, that's okay, the area's not too big. Now you also get a star card in there as well, so make sure you grab both of those collectibles in this room. Now we're gonna get the concept number two, and then you're gonna come over here, and I'm actually not gonna be able to grab this right away because you're gonna see a fella uh, blocking my path. Now it's over there in the corner to the left, but DeMont Conway wants us to do something with rats. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna actually come back to him later because he's not gonna move for a while. So we're gonna find a weapon upgrade. If we go over towards the shooting range area, it's right there on the ground, and that's gonna lead us to the concept number three. This is going to be in the shooting range. We'll actually run down this hallway a little bit later, but behind number 21 near that board is the concept. Now, concept number nine. So we're gonna leave, we're gonna kinda go back the way we just came. Try to hop over this railing. Salutation. Now we're heading back uh, through Set's lab here. Now we're gonna find stairs in the corner here. We're gonna go up these stairs in the corner to the right is the concept, right there on the floor. Now we're gonna stay up high here and then exit through this x-ray room here. And then just to the left on the bunk is where we're gonna get concept number one. Now number six, we're gonna head over this way and we're heading over to the club. Now as soon as you enter it, now, of course, there's a Wolfenstein machine here, so you want to play that because there's a trophy. But back here behind the bar, underneath that green uh, drink machine, is where you're going to get the concept up. There's the Wolfenstein machine. Make sure you play that because you'll get a trophy if you interact with it. But also in this room on top of this speaker is the next concept art. Now, we have star card number seven just behind you right there inside the table. Now, number 47, I told you the numbering's a little weird, but we're going to head down towards the cantina. Ça va bien, Captain Van now, we're going to find a gentleman right here. Talk to him. He'll give you a, a, a little quest. But in here is two collectibles. So the, uh, we got a star card and then concept. So do that. Now I'm going to talk to the guy. I'm going to do the, the quest here for the Constrictor Harness. So we're going to go to the Manhattan Nuclear Bunker District. Now when you do that, that's use the Enigma machine. You can get the Uber Commanders. But over where the Uber Commander is, where you get the Death Card, in that area is where you get the Constrictor Harness. So I got that. Now I'm back into the, the hub world again. Now I'm going to go back through Set's Lab, get concept number 28. And we're going to use that Constrictor Harness in just a, a second here. And you do it here by crawling through this tunnel, this little pipe. I don't know how it necessarily works from a uh, science perspective. But once you're down here, and I just ran past it because the sprint in this thing is insanely fast. So let's go backtrack over here behind this white pipe. There's the concept. Now we're going to go break through in the next area. You can use your constrictor harness to go through the pipe there. You see the yellow pipe to the left side, or if you have the, the bashing ability. Nice. Inside here is where we're going to get an upgrade, or second one, and then star card number 44, both in this area here. So we're going to go get another upgrade here, our third weapon upgrade. We're going to push this button. We're going to drop down. We're going to actually drop down into the shooting range once again. Now you're going to find this one in the kill house range. So we're going to leave the shooting range here. 
go up the stairs and go in through the kill house. There's a trophy if you get the second best score, which is not very difficult, so I'm not going to make a guide in there. But inside, as soon as you enter right there, in front of the lockers is the upgrade. There's also a star card in here as well. It's right there on the bench in front of the locker. Now I'll just go ahead and finish running through the kill house here. And turn around. There's the door. Now let's just go ahead, kind of skip to the end, just to save time. Now I'm gonna go back to the concept in art number two. This is where I was blocked off earlier, but after finding the rat and then getting the constrictor harness, uh, he's no longer here, allowing me to finally pick this thing up. So he may or may not be blocking your path depending where you're at in the story. All right, so the concept number seven, I'm gonna go back through Set's lab, head through into the helm, Inside of this room, we can drop down here and if you can see the uh, concept art right in front of us. Now from here, let's get up and then go up the ladder here. And then there's a uh, little red room here to the right hand side. Look for the red light, pick up that star card. Now in the same room, we're gonna drop down and go to the exact opposite corner. Now from here, we're going to actually go through the hacker's way here. Hacker Central. Once you get into this room, there are two collectibles very close to each other. There's a star card over there on the far table. Somehow I can reach it from here. Must have really long arms. Turn to my left, and I'll see another one right down there. So we're going to leave Hacker Central the opposite way from which we came. Turn left, we're going to find stairs, and we're going to head down. Inside the locker room here, in front of a locker on the or actually inside the locker, look for that light. Right behind that light is where the star card is located. So we're going to leave, go up the stairs, go up the stairs again, and go up yet another set of stairs. This is going to take us towards the hangar. So just keep following the path here. Once you get into the hangar, uh, it's gonna be to the right-hand side as I enter. And now the very last one, say star card. So inside the same room, turn around, you'll see some stairs in front of you. Go up those stairs straight ahead of you in the locker is the final collectible in the, the Eve of Hammer. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys hit the like button, of course, and subscribe. And then when you do go to your collectibles menu here, you'll see the star cards on Eva's Hammer. I got all of those. They have weird numbering. And then I also, you can see here, I have all the concepts.